Okay, we're going for try number two here. My children's, um, they, one of them got hurt. He's fine. It happens with the children's. Okay, I'm going to invite a couple people really quick um, because I want to share something with you guys that a friend of mine has shared with me and it's something that I have used a little bit. I need to get better. And tonight I was just thinking about it and I was like, you know what? Like I need to share this with you guys because it is something that has really helped me in the past, not only with business or I'm tagging people, not only with business, um, but in my personal life as well, because sometimes like it's no surprise. Um, but there are times where I have, you know, we get stuck with, you know, being healthy or, you know, staying organized or getting organized, <laughs> any of those things. So let me just, I just want to tag a couple people. Oh, well, that's all it's going to let me. Hi. Okay. So I want to share with you guys like a super simple way to get yourself out of that stuck, unmotivated, um, and like overwhelmed state. Um, because I know like the nine days of deals, can be overwhelming, right? Um, this business can be overwhelming, but not only that, like life can be overwhelming. And I know like in talking with some of you, you know, you're like me in that when you have too many things coming at you all at once, you tend to just do this. You just sit there and you freeze and you don't do anything. Guess what? That's not helping moving your dream forward. That's not helping you get to where you want to go, right? So I want to share with you guys a really simple way to get yourself back on track and it works every time it's the craziest thing okay so what i want you to do is i want you down in the comments i want you to think of one like one thing what do you want okay what is it that you want to do i'm a freezer too um what is it that you want to do okay now for me do not feel like you have to copy me and it doesn't even have to be business related okay it can be you want to lose you want to have you want to be healthy um whatever it may be okay um, for me, I want to be a black status. I want to. I want to prove it to myself, okay? The idea, when I think of that, guess what I do? I do this. I think, oh, I have this, and 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 this, and before you know it, like, it's a big gerbil. And then I sit like this, I freeze, and I do absolutely nothing, okay? Um, so what I find is there's another side, you guys, there's another side, there's an easier way to do it. Um, and I'm going to share with you what I do. Okay. So again, I told you, I want to be black status. The idea of being black status is a bunch of different things. What? Yes. Just okay. Go over there. You're good. Go downstairs. I have no idea. Go downstairs. <laughs> he wants my tablet. Okay. So it may be the same. So I want you guys to put in the comments, like what is something that you want? What do you want? Okay. Because then we can kind of go through different questions because you may not all want to be black status and that's okay. Maybe you, um, you know, you want to lose weight or whatever. Okay. I want to share this down because you guys, we all want to support each other's dreams in here, right? That's our, we're a team. And if we know like, Hey, this is a dream. So I'm putting it out there. I want to be black status. Okay. Um, there's lots of different reasons why, but I want to be block status and I don't, I want to do it to prove to myself that I can. Okay. Um, so I want you guys to put oh, this stupid thing, um, a card named vision. I know. Okay. That's a funny story, but, um, and lose weight girlfriend, me too. Kristen, like me and you could be like locking arms and off we go. Okay. So here's what I want you guys to just keep putting down in the comments what your goal is. And if you guys, if it's not to be black status, don't say it because that's what, you know, you think if you don't, if you want to be a pink status, if that's your thing, then be a pink, like, don't feel like you have to say black status. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mandy, stay tuned. Cause I really, this is something that works so well for me. Okay. So when I think of being black status, I jarble everything together. Like I really wish I had like a ball. I have Christmas lights downstairs, right? And they're in a big ball. They're not organized. It's a big disaster. Okay. That's what my brain does when I think of what do I need to do to be black status? Okay. Guess what? There's an easy way to do this. Okay. So what I want you to do, I want all of you to close your eyes. Okay. This sounds crazy, but close your eyes. I want you to envision 
that the ball has just dropped. You're watching Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve, right? Like set the scene. You're watching this because you wanted to stay home tonight because it has been a wild year, okay? You watch the ball drop. You are sitting there in astonishment because this, whatever it may be, okay? Maybe you have just got on the scale, Kristen, and you're at your ideal weight today. You made it through the holidays and you you look down and you, you see, for me, 164 pounds, okay? You look down and you see it, okay? For, like, black status, you, the ball just dropped and you realize, oh my God, I did it. Like, I am black status, I did this. Like, I took something, I took nothing and turned it into something, right? I have just had my best year ever. Okay, 2020 was the best year I ever had. And I want you to now, like, take your hat. You're wearing that 2021 hat, okay? Like, it's 12.04 a.m. Like, be specific. You're wearing something super cute. Even though you're at home, you wanted to dress up. You're rocking red lipstick. And you have somebody asking you questions, okay? So, and maybe it's you asking yourself questions. I don't know. Okay. So what I want you to do is ask yourself, Darina, how'd you get there? You guys, <laughs> it's funny because I'm like getting emotional thinking about how hard I worked in the last year, how I took a rough six month patch in my business. And even though things were tough, like I just made the decision. I made the decision to change things. Um, so I want to show you guys, this is what I did. I sat and I wrote stuff down because I wanted to show you guys, um, that what I did. Right. Um, and so the first thing that I being, the, you know, the, the interviewer would be asking me is what did you do? Okay. You want to know what I did to get to black status, black status. I partied my ass off. Okay. I had 10 parties going at all times. I, um, did it even when I didn't feel like it. And when I didn't feel like it, I did even more because I knew that's what was going to get me there. Okay. Um, I focused on mascara because that's easy and anybody who has eyelashes can do that. Okay. I hosted one specialty party a month so that people from previous months that I had done a party with could do another party, right? We could do um, a party. Sometimes we did affiliate links. Sometimes we did an old fashioned party, okay? Um, because guess what? Those work. <laughs> um, and in 2021, guess what? We're still gonna be doing parties because it doesn't change. Um, I made them fun again, not only for my hostesses, but I made them fun for me. I made them exciting, but I didn't overthink it. I kept it simple, right? Um, the next thing that I did to get to black status, again, this is me, 2021, 12.04 AM, is I grew this shimmer squad to great, like I watched so many women on my team excel and change their own lives because they deserved it. I just gave them the vehicle, right? I handed them the keys to the vehicle they already had, right? Um, so the first thing that I did to grow the Shimmer Squad is I made the decision that it was selfish of me if I didn't share it. Because even though I was scared, it's worse that this person doesn't know about it. It's, it was harder that the person at the grocery store didn't know that there was a way out. That she didn't have to work that crappy job anymore because she could do something on her own or he. Um, I started being organized with the team we, we had monthly training focuses and we did, um, round tables. We did weekly team meetings. We did accountability calls. Um, we kept them quick and to the point. Um, we also in that time that we were getting all this organized, I also saw my leaders. I saw the people that were there and wanted to lead and I helped them lead. I taught them how to lead by utilizing the shimmer squad and giving them a piece of that, giving them the piece so that they knew that this isn't my team. It's our team. Okay. Um, and the number one thing I did to build the shimmer squad again, me 2021, 12, 4 AM is I helped together. We built a sisterhood. 
that we were lacking. Um, we became friends, we became coworkers, we became co-visionaries. Like we knew what was going on and we were all helping each other reach their goals together because we shared that with each other. We were vulnerable with each other and we supported each other. Okay. The next thing that I did is I made a schedule. Okay. Myself back in 2019, gosh, I look back at that girl back in November of 2019 and she didn't have a schedule. Um, I, I, even though she wasn't comfortable with it, like I made that decision and we did it anyway, right? Because what she, what she was doing was not working. Um, I also put together, I took a training by Bob Heilig about the ideal work week. Um, and I put that together and I really tried to stick to it. Okay. For those of you who don't know what that is, I am going to do a wash party about later, but, um, the other thing I did is I got myself organized, not only in business, but in life. Um, because in 2019, I was the person who had junk mail and mail and newspapers and things piled up on my desk. I also had makeup everywhere. Um, I also didn't have a purposeful, purposeful setup for my business. Um, and so I changed that. I came, I had team binders, I had customer things. I just got myself organized and I became simplistic. I got rid of the clutter and got it out of there. And once the clutter was gone, I was free to focus on my work. Okay. Um, and the other thing that I did that got me to black status is I focused on my health. I made sure I was sleeping enough. I made sure I was drinking enough water. Um, I cut out a lot of the sugar that I was eating um, and just focused on eating better because when I eat better, I feel better, okay? So I want you guys to really sit down and think about it. Like honestly, close your eyes and I want you to figure out A, what do you want? Nicole, Nicole wants to be, or not Nicole, not that she wants to be green. Nicole is going to be green on January 1st, 2021. She will have accomplished this. Nicole, I would love to hear from you. What did you do? Like, tell me what you did to get to green. Like, what did you overcome? What did you change? What did you focus on? Who did you talk to? When did you talk to them? Where did you talk to them? Okay. Ask yourself these questions, okay? But I want you to take this, okay? If you need to, write it down. In fact, I, I highly recommend that you write it down, but I want you to ask yourself these questions. Interview yourself, okay? What did you do to get to black status, okay? Then I want you to look at it, and you guys, you know what is crazy? In your mind, you know exactly what to do. You know exactly when to do it. You know exactly how to do it. You don't need another person on this planet to tell you how to accomplish the goal that you are going to accomplish. You just have to get out of your own damn way. You have to stop focusing on, oh, I should be doing this, and what if I did this, and I'm gonna change my party script, and oh, I better get a binder, and oh, I better clean my desk, and oh, I better do this. Stop. Okay? I'm the queen of this. This is why I've struggled for six months. And guess where it's gotten me? Nowhere. It's gotten me nowhere. Okay? So I am going to be 100% real with you. Like I am about ready to like ball because a year ago I was further than I am today. Okay? And it's because I let the jarbled ridiculousness get in the way. And it's over. Like you can't do that anymore. And I know I'm not the only one. I've talked to a couple of you and I know that I'm not the only one that has let bullshit get in my way. I've let myself get in my own dang way. Okay. That's done because this person on January 1st at 204 AM 2020 is where I am going to be. I interviewed her and she told me how to get where I'm going. So I'm going to put down the crap that doesn't matter. I'm going to quit focusing and allowing myself to overthink things that I'm going to focus on the clear plan that Darina 2021 gave me because she knows where she's going because she's already been there. She knows where she went, right? That's the other way to say it. She knows where she went and she know how she got there. And it's crazy to me because I will tell you, going back to present day self, I'm back to 2019 person, okay? Um, 
I always feel like I need to read another book. I need to listen to another podcast. I need to focus more on training. I need to get organized before I start. I need to get a good night's sleep before I start tomorrow. I need to go to the store and buy some more crap. No. You know what I need to do? I need to sit down and interview 2021 self and ask her how to get where I'm going and I'm going to pay attention to what she tells me. Okay? Now again, if you, because Kristen, I know you had mentioned that you wanted to get healthy. You wanted to get to a healthy weight. Okay. So what did 2021, 1204 AM girl say to you? Did she say, oh, well, I just sat and ate cookies and I didn't pay attention to it? Or did she say, I became mindful of what I ate? I paid attention to how much I was sleeping. I paid attention to how much I was drinking and what I was drinking. I was mindful of the calories that went in and I was mindful of spending time on my, for myself, right? So I want you guys to seriously sit down and interview yourself, okay? It's not super hard. I want you to ask yourself, what did you do to get there, okay? It's kind of like telling yourself, if you could go back and tell a teenage self how to get through some of those times, wouldn't, it, wouldn't that be so amazing? Guess what? You had the ability to do this. Oh, I can hear my kids coming. You have the ability to do this because we as humans are so smart, okay? We're so smart. Hold on one second. Silas! Shh! You're gonna wake dad up. My husband has to work at 2 a.m. Um, okay, so you're now talking my language. I've seen you do this in your business. We got a plan. Yeah, and you know what though is crazy to me, Mandy? Is you can hear my plan. And you can think, God, that's great. I should do that. No, okay? <laughs> Ask yourself what your plan is and then find people that align with you on that plan. Okay? Because if my plan is to be black status, but I'm going to do it because I'm going to focus on parties, but you're going to be black status because you become viral, right? Like maybe you, you're you known for doing your Facebook lives, then we're, what we do isn't going to be the same. So you have to figure out what works for you. And you know what the best way to, to figure that out is? To ask yourself. Ask yourself, like if you need to, I'm not even kidding, like I wish I had a hat around here. If you need to, oh look, here I have this hat. Okay, don't laugh because it's squished, okay? This is me, 2021 self. This is my party hat, okay? Hold on, shh, hey, you need to be quiet. Shh, you're being loud, you're gonna wake your dad up. No, Silas, uh uh, downstairs, please. I'm trying to do a training. Can you? No, I'm not. I'll talk to you in two seconds. I'm trying to. Thank you. I love you. Kids. Okay. So what I want you to do, you guys, it doesn't matter. Like if you need to, if you can't do this, the first time I did this, I couldn't like, oh, okay. And then I kept thinking, gosh, this is silly. This is, you know, dumb. No, if you need to grab a hat, grab a shirt, grab a whatever and say, oh my God, it's 2021. This is my 2021. I feel like my 2021 hat will be much more fabulous, but get a hat, get yourself a shirt. Get yourself a freaking lipstick, okay? I want you to look in the mirror and interview yourself and tell me what did you do. Don't tell me. Tell your dang self, okay? Um, <laughs> but I want you, and that's the thing. So here's the deal, Kristen, okay? You think you need my training 101. No. Ask yourself, 2021, what's your training look like? 2021, what does your parties look like? Because you know what? You don't need anybody but yourself, you guys. The only, like, it's crazy to me, okay? So, I mean, I'm an open book. I will share anything. But what works for me isn't going to work for you. What works for me may be completely different. Like, I'm going to use, like, Liz and I are very different the way that we do things. We do a lot of things the same. But the way that she accomplishes something is probably not going to be the exact same way that I accomplish something, okay? So, if I take and give... I mean, the whole po okay, the whole point of this is you've got to ask yourself because guess what? You are so freaking smart. You know the answer already. You don't need more training. Unless you've been in this business for a month or less, you don't need any more training right now to accomplish the basics of what got you there. Um, yeah, Liz, so ask yourself, 2021, how'd you get where you were going and what'd you change? What'd you change? What'd you do? What changed? What made that decision change? What... What was your first step? What did you overcome on the days you didn't feel like it? 
what are the what did you do differently in um, you know in your day-to-day -day life as far as decision making so if you're talking to yourself and you are you have the best body you've ever had what did you do different at the grocery store did you keep going to the grocery store <laughs> did you start shopping and having Walmart pickup did you stop putting things with sugar in the aisle? Did you start looking at labels? What'd you do? What'd you do? What was different? Okay, maybe you're talking to yourself 2021 and you're debt free. How awesome would that be? Okay, so we'll put on the 2021 and we just paid all our debt off. What'd you do? How'd you do it? What'd you change? Who'd you talk to? Who'd you follow? Who'd you unfollow? Like, who was your inspiration? Who was your, you know, whatever it may be, okay? Honestly, Heather, it can work in everything. And you don't need anybody else to tell you how to do it because everything you need, it's right here, okay? So get out of your own way and interview yourself. Ask yourself these questions, okay? And I'm not even kidding. If you struggle to the first time I did it, I was like, this is, feels weird because I had another person interviewing me, okay? <laughs> and in a way, like, I didn't feel like I could be 100% honest with him because I was maybe embarrassed of the answer at that time because I wasn't ready for it, which is silly. So, but if you need to, get yourself a red lipstick and throw it on and say, boom, like, put on a pretty dress that you like, okay? 20, put your, if you need to, okay? If you are struggling to connect yourself with 2021, put your, make yourself 2021. Do what you gotta do and ask those questions because if you don't ask the questions, you're gonna be the same that you always have been. Nothing's going to change, okay? And I can tell you for the last six months, nothing has changed. In fact, it has gotten more out of control for me, okay? I have gotten in my own way more than I ever have the whole time I've been doing this. And my frustration level with myself is to the top. And so I can sit and I can be frustrated and I can be mad and I can just sit and stew like I have for the last six months, not at anybody else, but at my dang self. Or I can interview myself like I did. I interviewed myself and I have a game plan. Cause she told me, 2021, 12 4 a.m. That girl told me how to have my best life. That girl told me how to get where I want to go. That girl told me what my dang goals were. At when I started this, you guys, I didn't know what my goal was even 100%. I think, oh well, yeah, I want to be this, but did I really? Did I really? And ask that same girl. Don't just focus, if it is, if your focus is I wanna be healthy or I wanna be whatever, ask yourself what else changed? What was the surprise that you didn't think of? What else was there? Sierra, I want you to go back and rewatch this, okay? Because I'm very proud of this one. <laughs> but I want you to go back and I, I want you to ask all the aspects. What changed? What was the difference? What flipped the switch? What did you do different outside of like, again, this example is black status, okay? Because this is, it's not what I'm going to be, it's who I am, okay? And 2021 self told me that. She told me to get out of my own dang way, quit making excuses, and take care of my business. Because 2021 has a great life, right? She's got a great life. She's accomplished her. She had the best year ever, 2020 was the best year ever and it's only getting better from here so I cannot wait if you guys want to share what you do below I think it'd be great because we are gonna build this sisterhood together we're all in it together and we may have different goals but we're all on the same path we want to move forward we want to get better we want to do better we want to help people we want to help ourselves okay so I would love to hear what you have to say um, I'm going to let you guys go so you can get back to selling, but I want you to seriously take five minutes, slow down for a second to go faster because I will tell you after doing this, you can't stop me now. You can't stop me now. Bye guys.